everybody. And as you guys can see here, this is going to be another tabletop review of another new toy that we add to our collection. Uh, if you guys can see by the case, this is the Glock. Um, by the title, you'll see that I'll be going over today just a first hand overview of the Glock 43X. Uh, this particular one is the all black version. Um, Glock did release um, the two tone one. Um, so I got the all black, which seems a lot um, sleeker look. Um, also to this video, you're gonna see some added features to it uh, of some upgrades and mods that I've already done to it. And I plan on doing a whole lot more with this particular gun. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, see what's in the box. Um, standard tones, every block does come with a cleaning rod, brush, uh, Glock um, pistol right here. I'm gonna just make sure it is empty. So you guys can take a look at it, no mag. All right, now I will talk about that. I didn't take this off for this review. I have already opened this, uh, but that's something that we'll be talking about in a little bit. This is something that does not come standard with the with the firearm. Um, comes with two polymer standard 10 round magazines. Uh, you get orange follower there. Um, and it also comes with a speed loader. Um, lock, standard, and all your Glock informa information paperwork that's in there. Nothing out of this world. So that's what's inside the initial box. So the Glock 43X, right? Um, the Glock 43X is uh, chambered in a nine millimeter. Uh, it's featuring a compact slimline frame um all black uh, like i said there is another version that came out first that uh, which is two-tone which is like a gray silver color um if you look through right there it has some of the regular block sights uh nothing to write home to mom about um frame has nice sibling to it nothing great um or crazy has a little undercut groove um only safety that, that Glock does have is the trigger blade safety, um, which is right there. And uh, Glock is made in Austria. Uh, and like I said, this one is a 10 round capacity. So this is uh, similar in line to the Glock 19, uh, different to a lot of the, the Glocks that came out other than the newer ones. If you see, these do have forward serrations, back serrations, which makes it easier for press checks. Back in the slide. All right, like I said, the sights are standard, nothing different from there. They are uh, polymer. So those are, are an upgrade that I will probably having. Um, you know, slide catch on one side, uh, take down lever from both sides, and then it does have your magazine uh, release that can be switched out from left to right. It doesn't, it doesn't come ambidextrous, but you can change that out. And we will be talking about that in a little So I know you saw the gun with a rail on there earlier, but I forgot to take it off before I, I did that first shot. So I really want to show you what it looked like um, without the rail. This is how the gun comes standard. Um, I'm going to show and get into a little bit more of those upgrades that, that we have on here with this firearm and all the different features that we're going to be doing to this particular uh, project. But this would be the firearm in itself. Um, again, 10 rounds. Um, two magazines, that's that's great. Uh, sleek profile and the name and reliability that comes with the Glock. Um, very nice. Um, trigger, you know, seems to be have like around a four or five pound uh, pull. Um, you know, there's a little bit of mushiness like your standard um, Glock triggers, but overall, again, no problem with that. And with the aftermarket, you know, you can change that out. You can make that down to a three pound pull. Uh, but, you know, I, I say it's good. Um, I, that's one thing that I like to try to keep the same is uh, standard trigger pull. Um, that way you're training with, well, how the gun was intended to be used. Now, if you like it and you do something different to it, that's great. I plan on changing the trigger. I'm not planning on changing the trigger pull. So I do want to change out the trigger for maybe an Apex or an Overwatch uh, trigger. We'll see, depending on what the, the look and the feel, um, I'll decide upon that. Um, so as you guys can see here, both of these mags are similar in size. 
and diameter. The difference that, that sets apart the shield from the regular standard Glock is they are made with uh, steel uh, alloy, I believe. So the metal and construction versus the polymer. So it allows them to be thinner, the wall, and gets the grooving so it becomes somewhat of a double stack um, configuration, which is the sim similar, uh, you know, technology that the P365 does. So this allows for 15 rounds to fit in here comfortably. Um, and if you guys can see, this is your 10 round magazine in there, right? And this is your 15 round magazine. Doesn't sit any differently on it from what you guys can take a look at there. Now, these say flush. Now I will show you this one, I'm not gonna chamber it, but this is your 20 round magazine and how it sits. So going from a 10 round uh, firearm to 15 round firearm to 20 round firearm. Um, man, that's just, I, I, there's nothing to say about that. That is sexy as all hell. So one thing I did mention before, um, and then the title, it shows you upgrades and mods. And I told you that this is gonna be a project then. So here I have a couple of things that I just wanna review. I'm not going to get into too much details. There's going to be a separate video on these particular mags. I'm not sure we'll make a big one on this one because it's not anything out of this world. I'll show you actually what that is. Uh, but this is a recovery tactic, recover tactical uh, rail. So as you can see here, this is a PL Mini uh, Valkyrie 2. Uh, no way for me to put this actually on there. Um, this solves that particular problem. You can find these guys on their own website. Um, I found this on Amazon with Prime Shipping. I'll link the information down below. Uh, this is an awesome little feature that you can add to this. Um, again, we talk, talk about the Shield Arms uh, magazines and this particular one is a, a plus five. Um, so without getting into too much detail, you know, we go from a standard 10 round firearm, right? To a 15 round firearm with no different profile on the firearm, okay? And then with the added extension, it goes to a 20 round firearm now, still concealable, very slim line, and added bonus. So I'm gonna show you guys what this whole package looks like. Me putting this all together, so for the new package, um, this is the little rail. Um, very easy to do. Two little pieces that come together and are held in by some screws. Um, again, I'm gonna speed through this, but I'm gonna put all this stuff together, right? So here we go. And there you have it, that's the finished product. So, um, I don't say that I don't like these, but these will have its purpose. Um, you know, these will probably become my range uh, firearms or what I really want to carry and it's a little bit lighter, you know, to not add too much weight to it. I'm sure, you know, the weight that I talked about, the 23 ounces is going to climb up a little bit when you go to 15 and you go to 20. Um, but it's always great to have extra magazines, but you know, I think I'll be more than likely carrying it with the 15 rounds more often. Um, now the 20, the 20 round one for sure. That's a that's a, a little project one to make sure that, that you know you have out there fun at the range. Um, here's the 15 round, and again, that's where I feel that I'll be carrying it mostly. With. Now that is that is just sexy sleep profile. Um, you know, with the all light pair with the all light mini. Um, I do have a review on the All Light Mini. This particular one is a different one. It's a gray color. Uh, they offered this one a couple of weeks ago. I uh, ended up buying about three of them. Um, there's another project that I have for the 365. Uh, I'll include uh, a future video on it. And again, you know, paired up with the recovery, uh, recover tactical uh, rail, adds this whole bonus pack together. So. Again, I hope you guys liked uh, this video. Um, just trying to get you guys to see a little bit of some new firearms. Uh, well, new to me, new project, but 
uh, for those of you that are first time buyers, uh, these are options that you can definitely have. Um, and then stay tuned. Uh, I'll be having um, this at the range and seeing how this performs out there. Uh, I, I doubt we'll have any run into any kind of reliability issues with this, but um, still coming down the road with this firearm, where like I said, we're gonna be changing the sights and then I'm gonna be customizing it to some of the things that I want. I do plan on milling or figuring out how I can run this with the red dot. I'm looking to, to probably add the shield RMS on for this one, which would be perfectly fit for it. I didn't talk about it, but I talk, I talk more about it in the, in the review, the video for the S13. I've already changed out the mag release. This is an all steel mag release. So that's an added one. I'm planning on changing that again for a customized color. What I'm going to try to go and run with this is either um, a burnt bronze or a red accent feature. So we're going to be changing out the slide release. We're going to be an extended one. Uh, the back plate we're going to be changing out. Um, the mag, a couple of base plates, we're going to be changing out some customized ones. Um, we're going to be changing out the takedown lever. Uh, and eventually we're gonna you know change out the the barrel uh, we will be running this with a threaded barrel uh, for future purposes if you know what I'm talking about but that is it for this particular video again if you guys enjoy videos like this please don't forget to subscribe uh, like and comment below if you guys have commented below uh, thank you you know I get into every particular comment that goes in there and I respond timely uh, i will be coming up with a giveaway video soon i don't know how that's going to work but um i do want to get this this channel up to about a thousand subscribers you know in a timely manner it's not about a race or anything like that for me i just enjoy doing this um so uh it's a way of connecting with the, the fireman arms uh, community so i'll see you guys in the next one thank you